I'm surprised that we haven't seen uh, more crashes. Well, thank, thank uh, goodness for that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's got a, he's got a couple of fender benders that are going to be reported in relationship to this uh, to this pursuit here. Again, police officers keeping their distance. There, there, there's nobody. Uh, I'm looking out my window right now, and I would say that uh, at least a good uh, a good uh, quarter of a mile back, that's where they are. are Joe, is any, are there any aviation units up yet? No, we haven't heard anything from the uh, police from the aviation units, helicopters that would normally be up here. But he's continuing uh, eastbound. Uh, let's see. We're coming up to Flamingo, Flamingo Road. So that's to give you a landmark to let you know where he where he's headed. Uh, again, I'm going to give you our speed right now is 88 miles an hour. Obviously, much faster than the speed limit down there on Miramar Parkway. As we come to this intersection, let's see what happens here as he tries to go. You, you can see a vehicle, that little Volkswagen Beetle, moving out of the way as he comes up to the intersection here. Let me zoom out just enough to show you the. There's. Oh boy. Okay. So now we're coming right, up to here we go. Oh, boy, you've been, oh boy. Yeah, right. This Passed is where it gets scary. There, uh, it just cuts right people there, off. Almost, and almost hits the truck there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is where it gets scary when he gets okay. sort of right. locked into traffic and then he just makes these crazy turns and crazy moves and people around right. him are just left scratching their heads wondering what is going on. Okay. I don't know. He's pulling he's off the slowing, side of the road. He's slowing down. He's crossed the roadway now. This is just north he's of the He's going opposite right traffic. On Flamingo road. Yeah. Yeah, he's in the shopping center. He's also being he's being followed now by this vehicle. I don't know if this vehicle's involved, if it's an undercover officer or what it is. We've got highway patrol coming up in here behind him. There's a highway patrol okay. officer's vehicle. All right, let's see and what happens. And he's slowing here. down. It appears yeah. that he's, he's slowing down. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be over here pretty quick. The guy's oh my goodness, he's jumping okay. and running. All right. The run, being chased by and it's the park and ditch. All right. Well, let's see. So how this ended. He goes and how far? Uh, he's done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's pretty much done. If you've got half a brain there, they're guy, just stop right there. Okay, maybe he doesn't have the half he's a brain. trying yeah. to, yeah. Okay. And there we go. And here we go, and it's done. So it looks like we've got the highway patrol officers who helped collar this guy, not off of Flamingo Road, where he ditched the vehicle. He made a run for it on foot. Highway patrol, another agency involved in unmarked like perhaps an undercover unit in there. Who helped join in to collar this guy? At one point, who, we had Sweetwater, Doral, Miramar, several um, departments chasing him during this chase. It's been going on now for what? Maybe 20? We've had it on for about 15 minutes. We've had it on for about yeah, 15 minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, listen, you guys, I'm, we're, we're going we're gonna to contact our desk and let them know exactly where this bailout is. Behind the shopping center here, right off the Flamingo <laughs> Road, just to the south. It's in the back. Uh, let me get to bring the camera back out. We have about two and a half minutes before.